Hi, everybody. Thank you, Lewis. I feel honored. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So we're going to talk a little bit about when to move. Um, this is the Traeger approach, which was Traeger is a man's name, Milton Traeger, who originated the work. And there's, there's, uh, he used to call it psychophysical integration. There's table work where you work on a person on the table, gentle, gentle rocking, um, relaxation, and the person on the table is moved in such a way that they, uh, there's freedom, there's softness, there's, there's relaxation in a very, very deep way. And another aspect of the work, a very important aspect, is to teach the person after they get off the table to move everyday life in that way. So you move with more ease and more freedom and more lightness. Okay. Um, and so when Milton called it psychophysical integration, he felt that you're using, he, he knew that he was using the body as a tool to get through to the unconscious mind and change patterns in the unconscious mind. So uh, let's start with um, some of the movement. So um, we're going to just sway a little bit, swaying back and forth, keeping the feet on, on the ground and keeping your knees soft and just moving with a little bit of a sway and feeling, allowing um, the different parts of your feet to feel what's in contact, but it's all in contact with the floor, but what, what, what's feeling, you're feeling a pressure, you're feeling movement in certain um, pieces of, your, of the foot. Okay, so become aware of that. A big piece of this is body awareness. So we're gonna just sway from side to side. And then you might wanna sway now forward and backwards. And again, feeling what muscles um, are, are pressing onto the floor. And then we're going to pause. Become, a, become aware of what you're feeling. Breathing. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna imagine that we have um, a string on the top of our head goes up to the universe and attach a helium balloon to it. And this balloon is helping to hold you up. Most of us, when we were children, when we were younger, much younger, we were taught shoulders back, head up and shoulders back, chest out, and that's a lot of tension. You don't want that. You can still have this length, this, this length, but with ease. Think of your balloon when you find yourself slouching at, the t at, the, at your computer, at the, you're eating or on the phone or whatever. You find yourself slouching, think of the balloon and up you come with ease. So we're pausing. Pausing is a big thing. Pause and fail. Ease your balloon. Okay, so now we're going to work a little bit. Um, we're going to work on the body now more. So we're going to lean to one side, just one side. We're just going to stick to one side until I tell you to go to the second side. Okay, we're going to lean a little bit, just slightly to one side and letting gravity bring our arm down. Okay, we're going to be playing with gravity. And the big piece of the work is to, is to ask yourself what's free or what's lighter. So let it be free, let it just hang. And then bring your wrist up, bring your hand up, and let it drop. Let gravity drop your arm. And come up again, and let it drop. I'm hoping everybody can hear me okay. And you can just bring it out to the side and just let it drop. And ask what's lighter, what's freer, what's easier, without effort, there's no effort. Uh, 
and let it drop. And Milton lived from the early 1900s to the late 1900s, and I was fortunate enough to have taken some trainings with him. And when we did this, he would say, he would be very playful, and he would say, ah, go on. Ah, go on. And let it drop. And bring it to the side and let it drop. And ask what's easier. If you're finding effort, if you're finding tension, just ask what's easier. How could it be? You don't know. You don't intellectually know that. What could be easier? What could be lighter? Okay, let's stand up upright now. Put that leaning to the side and pause. And go inside and notice if you feel a difference between the two arms. I do. I feel this arm is a little bit longer and wider. There's more space. This one feels kind of heavy. This is lighter and freer and easier. Okay. Then we're going to go to the other side. We're going to balance. We're not going to spend as much time. Okay, because the feeling, it'll be much easier to come to the feeling because we already have it from the, from the side we did. So let's go to the opposite side, lean a little bit to the side, let feel gravity, let gravity take your arm and then bring it up and let gravity and drop it and let gravity take it down. And what's easier than this? Uh, go on. Be playful. It's easier than this. And lighter than this. Remember, have soft knees and let your body move easily. Let your body, your, your, the whole body, your torso move easier. Without that rigidity that so many of us develop as we age. And we don't have to. Milton used to often talk about agelessness when we do this work. Okay. And now come back to center. And notice if your arms feel a little bit different. Maybe even your neck and your low back may feel a little bit different from this. So we can do, we can do it. One more arm thing, we can just kind of look to the opposite side that our hand is on, our arm is on, and let the arm go. We can be kind of like a mal in my arm. Ah, look at me. Beautiful me. Beautiful me, and let it go. And feel the opening in the neck. And go to the other side and let your arm just drop. Bring it in and let it drop. What's easier, what's lighter? And pause. And now I'd like you to imagine that you have a paintbrush at the tip of your nose, on the tip of your nose, and it goes out to the opposite wall. And you're going to be painting on the opposite wall. You're going to be painting a circle, or you can think of it as a bullseye, but you circle it. So you'd be starting with a little circle. And we're Painting that circle, so we're moving our head just a little bit, and again, no effort. Just move a little bit of a circle, and remembering your balloon, so you're not slouching. And breathe. Okay. And now let's go to the uh, opposite direction. A little circle. Again, with ease, with ease, with easier, what's lighter, what's freer than this? And pause. Now we're going to make a little bit of a bigger circle. And again, with ease, what's freer, what's lighter? Pause. Go in the opposite direction. And some of you may feel a difference when you go in each direction. One direction your neck may feel looser in one direction than it does in the other. 
play with that. Okay. okay. So now you're going to take a paintbrush and you're going to put it on the top of your head. And you're going to be painting the ceiling with a circle. Okay, so let's say one direction, we're painting the circle. Using totally different muscles. Okay. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. What's easy and what's freer? Pause. Okay. Now I'm going to spend a little bit, a little bit more time on the neck. So imagine that you have a rabbit, a big soft rabbit on your shoulder, on one shoulder, and you're going to take your your head and you're gonna, with your cheek, you're gonna pet the soft, fluffy rabbit, just slightly, just a little bit. And feel that softness come through your neck, through your face, down to your neck, and your whole body. And what's softer than this? And what's lighter? What's freer? What's easier? And now that bunny hopped over to the other shoulder. So you're going to bring your chin down and go over to the opposite side. And you're going to pet the, the rabbit with your opposite cheek. And what's softer? What's lighter? Oh, that feeling. It's not about how much. Okay. It's not about more. It's about less, 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 less effort. And up you come. And pause and go inside. And move your neck a little bit. Just a little bit. See if, see if it feels easier and softer and freer. Now imagine that you're a kangaroo. And you have a kangaroo tail. You don't have to imagine you're a kangaroo. Just you have a kangaroo tail. And it comes down and it reaches the floor and it curls up. So you're going to be bouncing on this tail. Soft, gentle bouncing, and you feel your whole body. Wow. Less effort, easier. It's so much the opposite of no pain, no gain. Okay? It's a whole other world, it's a whole different thing. Okay? It's What's lighter, what's freer, what's easier. It's kind of bouncing, bouncing on your kangaroo tail. Okay, it's a good thing to do when you're, might not be so obvious, you can do it a little bit, a little bit easier if you're out in public and you're waiting online, which we seem to be doing a lot these days. And you can bounce a little bit, okay, remembering your balloon. So now we're going to do the legs. We're going to do the legs. So if you have a chair to lean on, you might need it. Uh, I don't know. Can you see me from here? Well, I can't hear you, but I can't see you either. So <clears throat> if you need a chair, the back of a chair to lean on, then please do that. <clears throat> I don't want you to lose your balance. But you're going to lean on the chair. And let me get a chair. You're not really leaning on it. You're kind of just helping your balance. You're not leaning. You just you're just kind of resting your hand on it so that you don't fall. And if you need to lean on it, then I guess you could. But I don't want you leaning because that that's effort. So if you need to hold on to it a little bit stronger, you can. And now we're a mule, we're just a kangaroo. Now we've become mules, and like a mule kick, you're taking the leg out and you just. Letting gravity take it and kick it out and let gravity take it down. And what's, what's easy, what's freer? And that loosens up the whole back, the whole body, but especially the, the vertebra. And what's easier than this? And what's lighter? You do the other side. Easier. And you can do it if you don't need to lean on something or use something for balance. 
You can just do it standing as well. Let's free it, let's slide it. Okay. I so just have a few minutes left, right, Lewis? So I can't even see you or hear you. So, okay, I think we just have a few minutes left. So a little bit, and you can walk with this. You can walk with that little bit of a kick, remembering your balloon. And walking with that little bit of a kick. And we can bring Marilyn Monroe back, and we can walk with a little bit swaying of the hips. So I'm going to finish up and um, ultimately I'm going to finish up with this. The ultimate trailer walk is something like this. Now, obviously you can't walk down the street like this, but I can come back to the feeling. I just did this. My whole feel, my whole body was relaxed and free and easy. So when I am out in the street and in the public, I can think of, I can recall what this feeling felt like. What did this feel like? And I can walk in the street with that same feeling by my, my mind bringing back, my unconscious mind, okay, bringing back this feeling. Okay, what's easy, what's freer. So you can use this in everything in your life. When you take a dish from the shelf, from a high shelf, or even from a low shelf, or you can do it with ease. If you bend and pick something up, you can do that with ease. Everything that you do could be easier and freer and lighter. Um, let's see, um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, just, we could do, I'd like to do just one more thing. Uh, just, sorry, uh, I, I, you want to get back? Okay, you, another image you can use is a seaweed. Okay, thinking that you're a feeling like you, you sway your seaweed and you just stop swaying back and forth like that, okay? So, and I wanted to just give you also um, the Traeger website, um, there's articles. You go up, you can read more about it. Traeger spelled T R A G E R, Traeger Approach U S. Okay, so I wish you all the best and um, that's it. Thank you so much. You great, great. thank you, Susan. And now we're going to take that feeling and bring it into the between heaven and earth. And it's this whole concept, even though it's called Traeger, it's, it, it's right in line with Qigong. I mean, we, we just have different names for very similar emotions. Feel the flow is a whole concept within Qigong and it's like it's taken right out of that chapter. So it's, uh, uh, it's, there's an echo. Um, it's a good, it's a good um, compliment for then going into our next section. So I want you to see how the feeling is. I don't know why I have this echo. Just a minute. There. No more echo. Uh, so I want you to feel the difference because you're so relaxed. I gotta get the right one and pinned. Pin. All right. Well, I'll just go to this. Sorry for the. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. All right. So I want you to feel the difference of how. I don't like my sound. Sorry. Got to get it perfect. <laughs> This one is mute. Sorry for the technical. Have to unmute this. And I want to mute that. Unmute. Now it should be all right, I hope. So I want you to feel because you're so loose, 
when we're going to do now between the heaven and earth, see how you can keep the looseness in the motion. So if I'm breathing in, bring the hands together as they breathe out and push. It's like I'm pushing feathers away from me. Look to one side, seize my edges of my energy space. Look to the other. Breathe in, and it, your muscles are just hanging on the bone. Push away like it's feathers or even mist and smoke is what you're pushing away. So you're keeping that total wobbleness, just pushing away. It's almost as if there's nothing there, but you feel something there. Look to one side and the other. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm feeling I'm in the middle of this energy source. Now we're going to go front and back. So we go to one side only for a while. As I push away, look behind. Look forward. Breathe in, coming front and center. And go back the same way. And again, it's see the bellowing smoke move as you push your hands away. Front and back, one more time. Push away. And it, the muscles are just hanging. Breathing in, come front and center. But it's deeper than the muscle. As I go to the other side, it's my tendons are limp. My ligaments are limp. The, the, the ten, um, very small connective tissues between the muscle and the bone. Between every organ, there's a sac, and the tissue is just limp, way down inside. Look behind, look front, breathe in. Now I'm gonna go up and down, so as I push one hand down, I push the other, I look down, I look up. Breathe in as I feel an energy source collapse around me. Same hand goes up, look down, look up. Breathe in. Breathe out. in again pushing feathers down smoke up and breathe in and I'm going to switch which hand is on top feeling that ball of energy look down look up breathe in do that a few times. I want to check my sound as you keep doing it. Sorry. All right. No, I didn't want to keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Now, I think it's better. And then relax. Now with the microcosmic orbit, we did this before, but feel, see how my arms are just wobbling. My hand, I'm standing up, but it's it's just the bone that's holding me and everything is limp. So as I breathe in, coming up through a fine line up through my spine on the ed edge of the skin, breathe out as it comes down the front. revolves right between my legs and comes up the back side again. Right on the, along the spine, but on the 
surface of the skin. Breathe out. My hands now are just falling down. And one more time as I breathe in, up the back, up over the top of the head, and then breathe out, it comes down the nose, the neck, the chest. And I'm going to go the other way. So I'm going to breathe in as I come up through the front. A fine line hits the neck, the nose goes up and over the top of my head. As I breathe out, it comes down my spine. Very fine line between my legs. It comes up to the front again, breathing in. And even though I've got, I'm using muscles to bring my hands up, it's as if they're floating instead. I got so limp and limber with the trigger that now it's just floating. Just have no tension of my muscles, my tendons, my ligaments. Everything is detached, but it's moving and come down. Now I relax, I'm taking my hands in a cup and I'm breathing as I swing around in one direction. I feel like a, an inner tube around my waist. And I'm going the other way, breathing out. Breathe in. Feel this inner tube around the center. Breathe out, go back the other way. And my hands are floating. I'm really not even using any muscles to hold them up. What's holding them up is the pressure of earth pushing them up. And that's what it did. It was an energy flow pushing them up in the air. Now here I breathe in, I'm going to breathe out going in the new direction, breathing out and again, what's holding my hands out and away is earth energy pushing them up, it's almost like they're floating on water, breathe in, but there's an, there is a pressure it's opposite of gravity. Gravity is holding them down, but earth energy is pushing them up to keep them in place. And breathe out. And we stand in the center. Now, as we raise our hands up high, I'm going to follow energy come down the front. Heaven energy is flowing down the front. If I just go this far, that's fine. If people can do a squat, go all the way down, do what your body allows you to. As you stand up, I'm breathing out and the energy goes up the back side and out the fingertips. Breathe in, heaven energy is flowing down the front into the earth, breathing out, it goes up the backside, earth energy, sliding up my backside and out the back of my hands. And again, only go down as far as you can, but mentally follow the heaven earth, heaven energy go all the way down in the front into the earth and earth energy coming back up the backside. Now we'll switch our mental attitude as I breathe in. Heaven is swatching down the back side. If you only go to here, that's fine, but follow the energy down into the earth and then breathe out as it comes up the front side. Do what your physical energy can do. Breathing in, down the back side. 
all the way into the earth, breathing out up the front side. And then I relax. Now, being really limp again, taking forward the Traeger motions, take your one foot and just swirl it. Very light motion. It's limp, but we're adding one more characteristic to it. In addition to just being a limp leg, mentally, I'm taking a straw and pulling up the earth energy right up through the center of the leg. So that limpness opens up the channel to allow the flow of chi to go without any inhibition. Just It's just a free flow coming up. I go to the other side and I'm very limp. So there's no clots, there's no kinking. It's a flow, easy flow right up through the center of the leg because I'm so relaxed. Coming up with a hand, again, just holding it up, having it flow, but adding the concept of the energy coming down through it. One more step. And see how easier it is with that prior exercise of relaxation and limpness to bring the energy flow down because there's nothing blocking it. Switching which hand again with as ease as possible and bringing the chi down through the center of the arm. They're so connected, it's very exciting. And then the last one is the head, just a wobble and having the energy come down through a tube through the center the tube that we created at the beginning through the center of the body, now we're sucking that chi in through the top of the head because of being so relaxed. And we're making this swirl of the head to bring it in. And all of this has brought in from all the directions into the center of the Dante end. We're going to bring our hands in to the lower Dante end and mix it all together. And again, sometimes when we're doing this, maybe we tense up and we're really churning butter. I don't want any churning butter. I want to be as loose as possible. And just, it's fluff. There's nothing against it. The spoon just floats through it, but I feel the fluff and I feel the energy right in the center. And now I relax, breathing in and out of the nose as I feel the energy, the sensation. I'm standing still, but feel it all just flowing all through the body all this energy, equal weight on the feet. The balloon is holding my head up straight to create a corridor right down through the center of the body. Breathing in and out of the nose, tongue just behind the teeth. And I'm, very, I'm full up now. The energy came in from heaven, from earth, with a lot more ease than ever before. And it's all in there, very active for my use. We do one more thing, bring the hands to the center again and come around. And as a very, very slight touch, 
Just feel it without pressure. Just a little touch on the skin as it comes down through the, on the back side. I'm touching, but as lightly as possible, down the back, up the front side, and just feel that the energy is on the surface of the skin. Come out away on the inside of the arm if you have no sh short sleeve. Just feel that touch is just tingling. I can very light surface pressure. A lot less than we've done before. Before we were smoothing out. Now it's just a slight touch. And we feel that tingling of the energy on the surface of the body. Come up, skip your face, but touch the top of your head, your ears, your temple, down the neck. Again, very slight, very sensitive, down the back and around in the front. And now just motionless holding it and see if I can feel the tingling still on the outside of all the surface of the body. And is it flowing? Which part still has more tingling than the other? Then breathe in and out slowly. And then we finish.